Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I've got an Everlane haul and try on for you. I've partnered up with Everlane on this video and I've selected five of my top picks from their new April launches. And I really cannot wait to show you these pieces. There's a bit of linen in here and you guys know just how much I love linen, especially during those transitional months. Now, if you have been a long time subscriber of mine or just been following my blog or Instagram for a while, then you will know how often I wear items from Everlane. I just love them for their high quality classic designs. And I really admire the fact that they were probably actually the first brand that did transparent pricing. So showing you the cost of manufacturing and then how much you actually pay as a consumer and I really admire the fact that they have so many sustainable fabrics across their entire clothing range. So what I'm going to do is talk through all of these items. I'm going to show you how it looks like on, the fit, what size I got and also share a few different styling tips for each piece. Every single item I feature will be linked down in the description box below along with all of that information if you would like to go and check anything out. Uh, so let's dive into it with the first piece which is this beautiful linen square necked puff sleeve top. I was drawn to this immediately because I love the idea of a basic top with a twist and this is that to a T. It has that beautiful square neckline which is quite on trend at the moment but I do feel like it's the kind of thing you could have in your wardrobe for years and puff sleeves which are really beautiful particularly if you want to play with your proportions and the silhouette of your outfit and then it has these tortoiseshell buttons down the placket which are functional so really great if you were nursing like me and that was one of the other reasons why I was so drawn to this piece. Now I got this in a size US 2 which is my usual size in Evelyn tops and it is a really lovely relaxed fit on me. It doesn't feel too tight or anything like that which it shouldn't be. It's supposed to be a little bit loose on and the way that I really like to style this is with a high-waisted skirt and just some pointed toe flats or a really cute pair of heeled mules or sandals. I think that that's just such a sweet spring or just summer transitional look. But I also think it looks really cool when paired with some denim shorts or just a high-waisted pair of tailored shorts if you wanted something that's a bit more dressed up. Alternatively, I would also wear it with the jeans that I've got on today as well. I think that's a really nice outfit and you can maybe throw a cardigan over your shoulders if it was a little bit cooler. So yeah, definitely going to be seeing me wearing this one a lot, especially in my what I wear in a week videos. The second item I made a beeline for was this soft boss blazer. Now, you may know, again, I just really love blazers for the transitional season. It's sort of when I get the most mileage out of them because the weather is in its prime for wearing it here in Sydney. We do have quite a warm climate here. I went for this in the clay color, which is probably a bit unexpected for me because I generally tend to go for white or black. I am so basic when it comes to my color palette, but I really was just so drawn to the fawn brown hue of this blazer. Uh, it's fully lined and it's got a really nice texture to it. Now, I actually tried this on initially just with a white denim skirt and I loved the contrast between the blazer and then the denim skirt because you have the tailoring with something that's a little bit more casual. But not only that, the contrast in colour as well. I just thought it worked really nicely and I'd probably pair that with a little black tank underneath maybe some boots if I was going for more of an autumnal outfit. I also think this looks really great worn over a slip dress perfect for the office. There actually are also a pair of matching trousers which go with this blazer as well so I will leave that link down below because when we do return to the office I think that that would make a really great suit combo especially if you wanted something that was a little bit more relaxed but yeah it's really beautiful it's super nice and fluid too and again I got this in a US 2 which is my usual size in Everlane outerwear and it is a really nice again relaxed fit. So I do find that Everlane clothing does tend to be more on the relaxed or boxy end of the spectrum so do keep that in mind when you are kind of picking out your sizes. One of the things I really like about ordering from their website is that you can actually uh, check all of the item measurements for every single size and that's something that I refer to a lot whenever I'm shopping from them. The third and final clothing item that I picked out is this linen jumpsuit. Now I love jumpsuits when it is hot. They're just so easy to throw on. It is just a one and done outfit. This one is in a gray and white stripe and it is 
so so cool I love the fact that the straps are adjustable so if you have a longer torso like I do then this will work for you as well as if you're on the shorter end of the spectrum this has really wide legs which I like I think it actually makes your ankles look narrower than they are and it also has a belt at the waist so you can cinch things in but if you really wanted to wear it loose almost like an artist that looks very nice as well and it's just one of those slip on styles and this is in a linen too and honestly the linen pieces are just divine I have a shirt which I got last year it's the black button-up shirt and to me that was just a really perfect beach cover-up great to wear with jeans as well like it kind of just relaxed things down a little bit and added in another element of texture to your outfit which when I'm wearing a lot of monochrome is definitely something that I try to inject into what I'm wearing for the day. I went for this in a US 2 again, so my usual size, and I really like the way that it fit on me. It doesn't feel too tight. It's very nice and breezy and airy and perfect for the weather that we've got at the moment in Sydney. It's been 25 degrees Celsius most days, so this is the kind of clothing that I want to be wearing. And I really like the way that this looks with a pair of mules. I think that's very cool. Uh, even just some sandals, or if you were trying to dress it up, some high-heeled sandals, something that's a little bit strappy. Uh, but also, I think if you really wanted to kind of layer it up, you could wear a mock neck top underneath. I actually made an order, it's on its way to me at the moment, for one of their white mock neck Pima cotton tops. As you'll know, I love my black one and I wanted to get a white one for autumn winter, which I think would pair really nicely under this for when it does get a little bit cooler. But additionally, I would also throw a big knit sweater over the top. I think that that's a really great way to make this kind of work a little bit harder and you could tuck it in using the belt just so that it's uh, got a little bit more definition around your waist. It also looks great with a trench coat thrown over the top too in case it's a little bit rainy because you know if you live in the northern hemisphere then you might be experiencing some spring showers. Then the next piece I wanted to mention is this one here which you may have gotten a little bit of a peek of <laughs> throughout the video and this is their lunchbox crossbody bag. Now I have been really loving these smaller more compact bags for day to day. As you know a lot of us are practicing social distancing and we're working from home and we're only really going out to buy the essentials so I still like to look cute day to day when I'm working from home. I feel like it gives me a lot more motivation and it stops me from feeling sluggish. Uh, but when I'm leaving the house, I want to have a bag that looks cute too, but that is also really practical. So something that just holds the essentials. And this really is just the perfect size for me. This is the cognac color and it's almost like a ready toned brown. So very different to the cognac color that you would get in the day square tote in case you're wondering for comparison. So yeah, this definitely has a really rich sort of a terracotta undertone to it, which it's something I really love. I think it will work really well with a lot of the other muted tones in my wardrobe. Or just act as a bit of a pop of colour. <laughs> as much as a terracotta hue can. So this has a little snap closure at the top, which is really quite strong. And then it's got a few interior pockets here, so you can sort of separate your belongings really nicely. For me, it just is the perfect size for fitting in my essentials. I can get my sunglasses in here as well, which is great. Perfume, camera if I wanted to. And I like the fact that it secures at the top with the snap button closure. You can either hold it from the top handle, which is really nice, or else you can wear it crossbody too. So a really sweet little bag. This is in a smooth leather, but it doesn't actually feel too delicate or anything like that. So I feel like I can scratch my fingers on it and it's not going to leave a mark. So that's really great too, because I love when you don't have to baby one of your handbags. The final item that I wanted to share is a pair of shoes. And you guys probably know most of the shoes that I wear on a regular basis tend to come from Everlane because of just how well made they are and how comfortable they are. So I was really really drawn to the new knitted mules that they've come out with. I thought that this was such a cool design. I love the sort of, I guess, ribbed detail on the actual shoe itself. I think it's really, really beautiful. And they've got the uh, leather block heel, so that makes them comfortable for walking around in as well. I went for this kind of milky latte color, which I think is 
just divine and really going to work nicely with all the other neutral pieces I have in my closet. Now, the reason why I actually went for these shoes was because I have wide feet and in my experience, after trying a lot of shoes from Everlane, I found that their knitted or re-knit styles are probably the most suitable because they have a lot of give to them and they're going to be really comfortable. I think the Dayglove re-knits that I've got are the most comfortable shoes that I have from the brand. I've talked about them so much and I keep saying if you've got wide feet, those are the shoes for you because they are comfortable straight out of the box. Same seems to go for these as well and yeah, I will say because I've got a bunion on my left foot as well as <laughs> being wide, these are very comfortable, have not caused me any pain or anything like that and like I said, having that block heel makes them very easy to walk in so I love that. I got them in a US 9.5 which is my usual shoe size in Everlane and they are a really good fit. I don't find that they are too small or that my heel hangs off the back at all. Now I kind of envision myself wearing these with pretty much everything on my wardrobe. They'll look great with a pair of jeans, whether it's blue, black, or even a white or an ecru colored pair of jeans. I also think they'd look great with kind of like a wide leg trouser as well, if you're into that sort of a silhouette. Really cute with dresses, with little skirts, even with that linen jumpsuit that I mentioned before, and in the cutaways I might actually put these on with that so you can see, but just a really easy throw on shoe. And again, one of those styles that isn't going to date and that you'll be able to have in your closet for years and years. So there you have it. Those are my five key picks from Eveline for the month of April. I hope that you enjoyed this video and that you found it helpful if you have been looking at purchasing any of these pieces. As I mentioned before, I will have all of my sizing and links to everything that I featured in the description box below. A huge thank you to Eveline for partnering with me on this video. I always love sharing the new launches with you. And I also just want to end this by saying that I hope that you have all been keeping well, staying safe, and looking after yourselves, both mentally and physically. I think it's really important during this time uh, and you know if you ever need someone to talk to please feel free to hit up my DMs over on Instagram. We thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you next time with a brand new video. See you soon. Bye.